Right now, I'm on my way to meet up with Kadeem for a cooking class. We are gonna be learning how to do some tapas. I don't even remember what's on the menu, <laughs> but we'll see, stay tuned. super fast uh, but it's really important that you have this pan on high and if you're using the electric one it's a 10. Smells good already right? Yeah. So traditionally this dish is made with uh, port wine so it's just like really like old school dish which is chorizo port wine you saute it you get really good bread further than this it could turn into a dark brown um, which is just delicious on its own, but I left it medium because it's gonna cook more in the pan. Right. So we're gonna grab uh, and because of the the, the the pork fat on each side, um, it sears really fast, and the onion together. Right. You're gonna take the honey, and we're gonna put about a tablespoon and a half of honey. By the way, guys, in case you don't like want to write down all these notes, I'm gonna send all, all these recipes after, so everybody gets over. Right. Yeah. So this is all on high, and now this is the wine part. So now you add about a half a cup of wine. I think you can start flipping it. No? Yeah. Basically, it's it's not an egg dish. It's a potato dish with egg making the barrier of the of the potato. But it's a lot of potato, um, and then you can fill it with whatever you want. You can put jamón, you can put green peas, you can put artichokes, you can put asparagus. Um, I grew up with green peas in it. Um, I'm gonna make it just plain, just like the most traditional way. I'm gonna put this. So the potatoes have salt, all right? So I'm gonna put just a little bit more salt for the eggs only, just a, two pinches. And then onion, so I'm gonna add, you guys went in on my onions, okay. We like <laughs> onions. <laughs> um, so I'm using like about two tablespoons of onion. And then put the potatoes, which a lot of people do, uh, what well, you end up with is more like a, like a French style, and it's going to create too much air. It's going to be too uh, too high. You want this to be kind of like a dense potato cake, you could say. Medium low. So on the electric guys, play with like the the number three and two going back and forth. All right. So this is going to cook. While it starts to cook, I'm going to take this edge, and I'm just going to keep going like this. And then once the sides of it are able to stay not against the pan, then I know it's ready to flip. 
When it's ready to flip, I'm gonna ask you guys to pay attention again. Casa de tacha. I think it's time to put the, actually no, maybe probably a little bit more, because it's already starting. Help you chop, by the way, get a like paper towel, put a little water, and put it on the bottom of these boards. These boards are a little like they move too much. So when you chop, you're gonna move it. Alright, um, shrimp. So we're gonna get let me get some thoughts in here. So these are peeled shrimp, they're wild shrimp. Um, they are the size is 2330. So if you don't know what that means, when you shop for, for shrimp. Um, make sure when you buy this guy that it's smoked, all right? And I believe Trader Joe's, if anybody like shops at Trader Joe's, I shop at Trader Joe's, that's the only one that they carry is the one that's smoked, all right? That's true. So go, uh, go heavy on this. I'm going two tablespoons, okay? It should be covered in the stuff, okay? It's not hot, it's not sweet, it's not hot either. It's just smoky. Um, pepper, so we're gonna go 10 grinds. You can use black, you can use white. Um, I honestly bought this because they didn't have any more of the black one, but it works just as good. This is the pink, white, and black one. Okay, salt, you're gonna do about two pinches. At this point, you could turn on the pan, and you're gonna go on and What you're gonna do is you're gonna brown the butter. So you have to watch it. You can't do it too soon because if you start browning too much, it's gonna burn. You just want like a light brown. So we're gonna keep going with this. All right, next ingredient is oil, olive oil. So you go hefty on this guy, okay? It's about, I wanna say like a quarter of a cup, okay? Parsley. So this recipe is kind of like, it's got a lot of everything, um, but it has a ton of flavor. And shrimp, it's so, it, it's so mild in flavor that you kind of want to increase your, your fats and increase all your spices so you can get more out of it. So to chop this, it's already washed. You just basically cut the ends off and I'm using about that much of the shrimp. If you're at home, you actually save this. This actually makes a great, like the roots and the stems. If you puree it, you can use it as, a, as like a marinade for like breasted chicken, onion, garlic, olive oil, lemon juice. If you juice, I don't know, I green juice. If you juice, this actually has the most nutrients. I'm serious, so I don't know. It's a little tip. And that's a motherfucking wrap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a food tour, darlings. Don't, yes. don't get it twisted. Is that bacon? 
There's bacon on that donut. Oh, no. No, that sounds good, actually. Mm, oh my fucking god. Put so my balls in my mouth. So today we made a lot of Spanish tapas food. Um, shout out to Chef Adriel. He killed it. We made some new friends too. Really funny. What we learned today? You could put a lemon on the plate to block out the seed and use it as juice. We learned it. I don't know if I got that. I think I might have gotten it on camera. Let me show you guys. We learned how to make a potato cake type of thing. It's supposed to be like a Spanish omelet. Um, kind of like a knish pie. Yo, we were eating it and we we're like, yo, this needs hot sauce. And because this is like my Valentine's Day gift to like Kadeem, I actually even got like a little goodie bag with hot sauce in it. <laughs> and like another gift. So I was like, yo, okay, I got you a gift. It's hot sauce. Like, should I take it out? Like, <laughs> it wasn't even gonna be a surprise because we wanted hot sauce. Like, mm. And then she walked by and said, we're well, like, damn. Yeah. Hot sauce. Like, yeah. So some so the other students <laughs> took some of the hot sauce. Um oh we learned how to make um chorizo in like a red wine sauce, like glaze mm -hmm. type thing. That shit was hot thing. We had caramelized onions. Um I don't know what kind it was a dry red wine, I don't know what kind it was. And what else was in it? Oh, butter? Was, was it butter? No. no, that was not butter. It was oil. Olive oil. Mm -hmm. Salt. Was there salt? Yeah, there was salt. No, no, no. I don't no, think there was no salt in there. The chorizo was already salty. Yeah. It was pretty simple. And that uh, the shrimp. Oh, garlic. There was garlic in it. And then we made like a shrimp dish. It was really good. Mm -hmm. It was fun overall. It was I really amazing. suggest really you guys. Yeah, take a cooking class, like go out with some friends. Have fun. <laughs> Do you like this face? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't love me no more if I had that face? Never said that. Like, what are we doing? I love you. Make the face right along with and that's a wrap, mijos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love y'all. Bye.